This is a new season of racing for me. This is a new adventure journey focus. I don't even know what, what to call it. Uh, I'm excited about it. I have chosen this year to jump from the 100 mile distance and try the 200 mile distance. And I'm excited and a little nervous. <laughs> this year I will be racing Coca Dona 250, Tahoe 200, Bigfoot 200, and Moab 240. When I first heard about the 200 mile distance. I believe it was back in 2017, maybe 2016. And my initial thoughts were, how is that even considered an ultra distance? That sounds like an epic. <laughs> that sounds like beyond the ultra. When I think of a hundred miles uh, and the furthest I've gone is 135 miles. I feel like that's still a distance that you can run continuously for 200 miles and beyond. I'm curious how much of the race depends on your physical fitness as a runner, as opposed to how mentally tough you are and how good you are at problem solving. I think this is a very mysterious distance and that's probably one of the biggest factors that has pulled me toward this event. I've been running professionally for nine years now and in staying true to who I am from the beginning, I've always wanted a career that was built on adventure, on pushing my limits and really bigger than belt buckles, medals, or whether or not I'm making it into the top 10 ultra runner of the year. I really am fired up by racing in new places. I love the adventure of ultras and, and the community that's there and, and truly the experiences um, that I get to be a part of. So the 200 mile distance is, that's that next step. It's, it's embarking on a new journey that I never thought that I would do. It's discovering things about me that maybe I always believed were weak or that weren't possible. Obviously as a competitive athlete, my goal every time I stand at a start line is to get on the podium. And I know full well that when it comes time to race my first 200 mile race that I will be a student. This is almost like an experiment. And it's, you know, this journey, I'm really excited to take you with me. I will be the first to say that I don't think that there is a perfect way to train for any distance. I really believe in athletes carving out a training plan that fits their life. There's very basic principles that go into a good training plan that I'll be implementing. You know, having days of intensity, strength training, mobility, good recovery. But I'm seven weeks into training and it already looks and feels different than any other distance that I've trained for. I'm gonna be sharing with you my training. I'm gonna sharing with you how I eat, the gear that I use. I'm also gonna show you some of the things that help me stay strong. So blood testing, getting my body fat and bone density tested, how I utilize that to make sure that I stay healthy. I also, I'm really excited just to share with you like a real raw look into my life. What life is like being a mom, a wife, and juggling all of this uh, this training. And yeah, it's, it's gonna get real. <laughs> what are you looking forward to as you train for these races? I'm most looking forward to discovering both new strengths and weaknesses about myself. I love every year changing up my training. My goal every single year at the beginning of the year is to be better than I was last year. So I'm really looking forward to gaining more strength, more endurance, stamina, building on that mental fortitude and seeing how that plays out on race day.